Now, I followed up on the black textures to figure out if it was the size or something else that I was doing wrong. And what I figured out was that a lot of my newer track layouts that have been committed recently were displaying black textures as well, sometimes on very, very large models. Other times I was getting like multicolor weird textures like he's describing here. This is Shane Turner's website. So he does tutorials and information pages on or on trains. And he figured out that you need to have hardware acceleration disabled on newer computers sometimes when you're using the content manager and content creator plus in or on trains, at least the older versions of Oron Trains. I don't know if he found this problem in the newer versions, but he says that he found it in 2009, 2010, and 12. So you have to go into the content manager settings, not the settings for the game, the settings for the content manager, and then recommit whatever assets are getting the black textures. So apparently the problem is created when the assets are committed, not when they're displayed in-game. So the original textures are defective is what this means. And it took me a few days to fix my bad assets. So as he's explaining here, after you've disabled your hardware compression and you've saved the settings, put the button there, you have to repair your assets. So you search for everything that's built in, or everything that you know has been committed since you had the problem, which is what I did. You select all of them. You might have to create a custom filter, actually. You see, you can create custom filters. And you open them, and then you recommit. I have not done that can yet, because I was waiting to do it for this video. So that's what I'm going to do next, and I will see if I can fix the problem. Now, another thing I had to fix was my my content filter. This is actually a filter that comes with Content Manager, but I had to rebuild mine because, for whatever reason, it failed on me. And I have my assets listed by quid, K-U-I-D number here. You can obviously go alphabetical with your name or chronologically with the date, but we'll go to with alphabetical order here. And we'll find that Arizona tea can right here. So we will edit in and explore and not actually do anything to it. And then we will recommit it. Okay. Do we have any errors? No, we don't. Okay. Now I will go into Surveyor and attempt to use it again to see if those textures will show up. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't, but I think it was worth a try. Because it, if nothing else, I had to fix the black textures problem on the other assets. Mountain Retreat. Track layout. I don't know which of those sessions is which. Okay, here we are again. So I'm going to go through my objects here again, see if I can find the Arizona tea can. My install of Oron Trends is rather complete here, as you can see. I've got a lot of third-party content. It takes a while to get to my own. top there is still partly invisible in the preview. Let's see how it looks in the game. And I think I may have actually fixed it. Let's go to the driver to find out. I've said before that this is a very, very hard 
Model 2 preview because it's so small and the utility of it in our on trains is somewhat questionable. I've also lowered the resolution of the picture here. You might have noticed to cut down on some of the bugs with graphics, but I don't think that that's related because I've tried correcting the models, at least other models in all the graphics settings. This was mostly to avoid my system crashing because, again, this is a very old game at this point, 10 years old. So I'm holding on to it because it's easy and fun to mod and I've built a lot of content for it. But in any case, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this project. I will, before too much longer, try some more challenging or more maybe more interesting modeling projects for or on trains. Or continue with, well, not just or, but I will also continue with the projects that I've already been working on for a number of years. And those will be in future videos. So thanks for watching.